And my uh, my contract expired with Top Rank, so I'm not with Top Rank right now. Uh, I'm, um, my contract expired, so I'm not with Top Rank, but uh, right now I'm just looking for for a good promoter, like some good options, uh, something I could uh, I could uh, just you know that benefits my career and something that that'll benefit just me and my camp and everything. Okay, yeah. and um, you were with Top Rank. You're now a free agent. Yeah. I seen you. You were ringside with Mayweather. How was that experience? You're at the fight. Yeah, and um, he signed a, a few fighters that are my friends, and then uh, I went to watch them, and then uh, I got to sit right there, right next to the ringside. Yeah, so it's a cool experience. Oh yeah, he's real cool. He's, he's a real humble person. People think he's arrogant or like just because he's rich and stuff like that, but he's actually a really nice guy. He's really cool. Okay. Now one of your friends is Gonzalez. Danny Gonzalez. Yeah. Now, how long have you known him? I known him um, since he started boxing. Since he was like, since he was like 11 years old. So I was okay. like. 14, 15 years old. So you guys came up in the oh, yeah. kind of the same years and stuff. Yeah. Now, um, you guys are some bangers. How do you describe your style if a fan hasn't seen you yet? Yeah, um, I'm a, a puncher boxer. Boxer puncher, okay. Yeah. Puncher yeah. boxer. Puncher, okay, yeah, explain puncher that boxer. then. Yeah, puncher boxer, I'm a puncher before I'm a boxer. I'd rather fight before I, I, I um, choose to box. I can okay. box, but I like to fight. So you I'm say not. you're a puncher? Okay. Yeah, so, yeah. So, Some people say boxer puncher, but I'm a puncher boxer. You guys notice he corrected me. He said he's yeah. a puncher boxer. Okay. Yeah. I like that. That's a good, you gotta, you gotta trademark that one. Yeah. Puncher boxer. Yeah. Floyd Mayweather signs another Young Hungry Lion to Mayweather Promotions. Easy work. What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Now, make sure you guys check out my dude, Saul Neno Rodriguez, and he, big things coming. He just signed to Mayweather Promotions. They're out in Miami. They're doing the WBC convention, and everybody's out there from Amir Khan to Gennady Golovkin. Floyd's there. Everybody's down there. So follow my dude, Team underscore N-E-N-O, and... I knew something was coming because I talked to him in over the summertime. I was out in Las Vegas covering a fight, ran into him, and he, he was he was formerly with Top Rank, and his contract was expiring, becoming a free agent, and he said something big was coming down the pipelines and, and whatnot. Now he's officially signed. Mayweather announced it on his social media, and this is good. I, I really like to see this. I actually caught up with him again in Vegas when I was covering Kovalev versus Ward. The interview is on the, on the channel, and you can also see the snippet that I posted at the beginning of this video. And he refers to himself as a puncher boxer, meaning he likes to punch first and then box. He said he can box, but he likes to get you out of there. And if you look at it, go to his page, look at his highlight reel, he has people's neck snapping back like the brat, you know what I mean, Pez dispenser. And he, he's definitely heavy-handed. He fights out of 130 pounds. And I think this is good for Floyd Mayweather. Mayweather, in his retirement, he's been busy. He was at the Rio Olympics. He signed a bunch of people from Daniel Gonzalez to Saul Nano Rodriguez. There's a Cuban fighter. And he, he's, he's signing a bunch of people in the lighter divisions and stuff like that. So the Mayweather Promotions brand is growing. He, he really wasn't playing when he says that Mayweather Promotions is the past, the present, the future, and he's really trying to be in boxing for some time. So I think this is good. You look at Mayweather Promotions, very multicultural. And the thing I like is you look at Floyd, it doesn't really look like he's discriminating. I'm not gonna name any other promoters, but some promoters, it seems like they cater to certain styles. But when I look at the Mayweather Promotions, I see guys who are kind of slick. I see guys who are technical. I see guys who are like punchers and, and more brawlers. And if you if you could scrap, you could scrap. And it seems like that's their MO. And I think that's how it should be. It's kind of like the Al Heyman stable. You look at Al Heyman, he don't have one type of fighter. He has everything from Andre Berto to Josecito Lopez to Errol Spence to Keith Thurman. You know what I'm saying? Look at all of the guys he has. And I think Floyd Mayweather's kind of following suit with his brand and trying to get just a variety and a plethora of different styles of fighters who he can groom and mold. And you know what I mean? And the thing I like is he's getting young fighters because that's where it all starts. And to me, that's always going to be more impressive than signing somebody who's already established if you're already established i mean even like when, when fighters get with trainers like pacquiao was already a good fighter before he got with freddie roach and i'm not discrediting freddie roach but maybe freddie roach taught him some things or how to use his right or different things like that a little bit better 
but that's different than Virgil Hunter and Andre Ward. Virgil Hunter taught Andre Ward things about boxing before he was even a man. You know what I mean? Probably he's going through puberty and stuff like that. So it, it's different to raise someone up. And I think that's what Mayweather Promotions is trying to do. Some of these guys are young, like real young, real young. He's trying to kind of groom them up while they're still young before they become champions and help blow them up. And that's, I mean, I, I like to see that. That's exactly what I want to see from a promotional company. You know what I mean? The other thing is certain people are, certain fighters are a gimme. Like certain promoters, I kind of want to say they're lazy in terms of like they're already a big promotional. And I mean, I'm not hating because I would do the same thing. But if you're already a promotional entity and you see someone come out from the Olympics, of course, that's an easy sign. They, they made it far in the Olympics. Of course, you want to try to sign someone like that. But Mayweather, he's given the opportunity to some of the guys who had amateur careers, some guys who didn't have amateur careers, things like that. And I think that's um, very important for Mayweather Promotions and his brand. So I'm, I'm just really looking forward to seeing what's going to become of it. Mayweather Promotions also has another fighter, Jose Vargas. He's another person. I'm looking forward to seeing him develop. So check out my dude, Nino, and drop it in the comment section. Make sure you share the video, like the video as always. Hate, comment, and subscribe. Till next video is Ego, signing off.